In our last set of videos, we went through and built just a basic website uh, using uh, Visual Studio and, and the, the .NET um, framework, but we built it just as a regular old site like you would see in other technologies that you'd build it. We have an index HTML file, we've got some, a CSS file, uh, we've got some JavaScript, we've got, we, we brought in Bootstrap and jQuery, and um, it all kind of sits out there like a regular website that we might have uh, built in any other web technology. What we're going to do in this set of videos is convert this website that we've built to a ASP.NET Core MVC web app. And so this was the thing that was most helpful to me as I was trying to wrap my mind around what, what uh, .NET was and what it did and what MVC was, it was to see this conversion. And so I want to do the same thing for you is to uh, walk through this conversion of how we make this into a MVC app. And so again, uh, what we're working is ASP.NET, ASP stands for Active Server Pages, .NET is the framework that we're working in. Core, which means that it, uh, it, it's, it can be run on Windows or Linux or the Mac OS, and it'll run just fine on any of those technologies. Um, so ASP.NET Core MVC. Now in MVC, um, it's, it's the, the way that we build the app. So we can build the apps in lots of different ways. And programmers have tried over the years all sorts of different methodologies for, for building uh, apps together in teams. And um, when I first messed around ever with .NET many years ago, we used something called the N-tier uh, model where you divided up the, the duties into different layers. And MVC is kind of another iteration of that, that that works a little bit better that gets each individual, each each specialized group on the team working with the thing that is pertinent to them. And um, it's a good way of organizing the, the app and, and it's gained popularity in other languages like Python use you know, a variation of it called MTV. Um, and so it's the same idea where we're going to take up and divide the duties into these different groups. And then people that specialize in those different things can, can work on their uh, areas without messing with the other areas. And so let's go through and, and talk about it. So we talked about MVC. M stands for models. And the models have to do with the data. So I'm going to go ahead and add here a folder in my project, right click, and I'll add a folder called models. And so this has uh, to do with the data. So the models are what tie us to the database. We go and pull information from databases. We, we uh, in the model layer, we can uh, make specific pulls for specific data. We can update data. So everything to do with data is in our models. Uh, folder. And then we have, I'll add another folder, our V stands for views. So I'll create a folder called views. The views are everything that we see. It's the front end. It's what the user is going to see in the end. It's so we can have people specialize in that they do well, unlike myself, that do very well with user uh, design and, and that interaction our user experience, they can mess with the front end uh, that is in that views. And then the, what, what do we have that controls that interaction? We have controllers. So I'm going to right click here and create a new folder called controllers. Whoops, get the fingers on the right key, Spencer. So we have a controller and the controller manages the flow of data between the models to the views and from the views up back to the models. In the controller, we'll, we'll put, put in there any business logic that needs to occur and, um, you know, meaning did the user type in the right stuff? If not, tell them that, you know, you can't leave the, the last name blank. You can do that on the front end as well, but, but you can enforce rules in terms of we can't up the database if this information is not here. Uh, you can pull information from the database. This is where we, a lot of times we'll write our queries to pull information is from the controllers to pass to the view. And so 
um, it kind of acts as a go-between between between the models and the views. And so those are the three different areas and this model just seems to work pretty well of of using models, views, and controllers. And so uh, what we're gonna do now is translate this website that we built into this MVC model and uh, we'll start with the views in the next video. Spencer out.